Number 7. 1980s Proof Link Consent. Graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. A perfect coin in an absolute sense. PR70 grade indicates that this particular coin is in state of numismatic perfection, unsurpassed in preservation and strike level. PCGS certified 73 specimens with deep cameo feature in this high-end grade and assigned a guiding price of $1,500. This gem, however, ended up selling for $2,257.88 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 1984 Lincoln Scent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 68 plus read by PCGS and further proven by CAC. Lincoln's ear, lower beard, particularly at the neck, and bow tie are prominently doubled. This is a virtually pristine example that shows absolutely no post-striking flaws on either side. Only plating blister may somehow affect the eye appeal. It was sold for $11,812.50 with buyer's fee. Number 5. Here is 1985 Lincoln Scent in MS68 plus red condition. It is extremely rare that a Lincoln Scent from this period warrants a grade from PCGS as fine as MS68 plus red, but this piece fully deserves it. The coin appears virtually flawless even under magnification. It was sold for $5,625 with buyer's fee. Number 4. This is 1987 Lincoln Scent in MS69 red condition. This memorial penny is in the threshold of numismatic perfection. Coin is radiating with orange, coppery red luster, surfaces are void of mentionable distractions or contact marks. PCGS reports just six specimens in this high-end gem grade, with none finer. This rare example was sold for $7,593.75 with buyer's fee. Number 3. This is 1981 S. Lincoln sent in PR70 deep cameo condition. Type 2 variety. Easiest way of distinguishing between Type 1 and Type 2 designs is closely inspecting the mint mark. Type 1 mint mark on the left is less clearly defined and lacks sharp serifs. The 1981 S Type 2 mint mark on the right is not only more well clarified but is known for its bulbous serifs, which may be the easiest diagnostic to spot on this latter mint mark variation for 1981. This rare specimen was sold for $12,150 with buyer's fee. Number 2. This is 1982 D. Lincoln Scent struck on a bronze planchet. Discovered in November 2016 by Minnesota collector Paul Malone. Highly elusive small date scent. Graded as AU58 Brown by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, the modified design that the mint prepared for use with the new copper-plated zinc planchets has become known in numismatic circles as the small date variety. This is technically a misnomer since, as related above, the letters in the word liberty and the motto in God we trust were also modified. The easiest way to identify the small date variety, nonetheless, is by looking at the digits in the date. On the small date variety, the digit 2 in the date is much farther from the rim than it is on the large date variety. This specimen was sold for $18,800. Number 1. And this is 1983 Lincoln Scent Struck on a Copper Planchet. Graded in Mint State 62 Brown by PCGS. Originally toned in light gray-brown, both sides do reveal flickers of original faded rose luster in the protected areas around and among the devices as the surfaces dip into a light. Sharply struck with few outwardly noticeable blemishes, this pleasing mint state example is sure to excite the advanced Lincoln scent and or U.S. mint error specialist. There are only a handful of these known, and had to have been created by leftover copper planchets that were stuck in the planchet bin at the mint but in mid-1982, and somehow remained stuck until the year 1983 came around and were fed into the coining press as normal planchets. This numismatic pinnacle ended up selling for $22,325. That's all folks. As ever let me remind you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. And don't forget to smash thumbs up button. Have a good one.